Sickle cell disease is a group of inherited disorders that affects the normal hemoglobin, which is the protein molecule in the red blood cells that delivers oxygen to all parts of the body. In contrast, sickle cell anemia is simply a type of anemia due to the affected hemoglobin or as a result of abnormal shaped hemoglobin, thus sickle shaped, which in turn the red blood cells tend to be destroyed before the normal lifespan of 120 days leading to hemolysis. Now, that's why some theories state that sickle cell anemia is also called hemolysis anemia. It is because of the same reason where the red blood cells are destroyed earlier before their normal lifespan due to abnormally shaped hemoglobin. Normally, each hemoglobin is composed of two alpha globin and two beta globin molecules present in HbA or hemoglobin A, which is a normal hemoglobin. So, since HbA contains two alpha and two beta globin molecules, this allows the normal hemoglobin HbA to maintain its normal round shape and furthermore allows the red blood cells to freely pass in a moiabic shape through the blood vessels to deliver oxygen to all parts of the body. Now, in sickle cell disease, the beta globin molecules are misshapen due to mutation changes which is as a result of displacement of glutamic acid normally found in beta globin molecules by valine acids which is abnormal. Because of these mutation changes, the hemoglobin will now be called HbS or hemoglobin S which is abnormal and it is the same that causes the red blood cells to change its shape into sickle structured shape. Apart from changing the structure of the hemoglobin or of the red blood cells, the red blood cells also become rigid, rough and stiffen in the blood vessels blocking the blood flow to parts of the body. Nevertheless, shall we take the two beta globin molecules which have been affected here? If the person has just one copy of the mutation and one normal beta globin molecule, then the person is said to be sickle cell carrier, also called sickle cell trait or heterozygous, because the red blood cells contain both HbA, which is a normal beta globin molecule, and HbS, which is an abnormal beta globin molecule. Furthermore, if all beta globin molecules are affected, then the person is said to be homozygous or has sickle cell disease because the red blood cells contain all abnormal beta globin molecules or HBS. Now, so far I think you can now understand the definition of sickle cell disease and sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell diseases are a group of inherited autosomal recessive disorders characterized by presence of an abnormal form of hemoglobin in the erythrocytes. This abnormal hemoglobin S causes the erythrocytes to stiffen. The sickle cell anemia is a congenital hemolytic disease which results from a defective hemoglobin molecule that causes the red blood cells to become sickle shaped. Such cells impair circulation resulting in chronic ill health. Then moving to types of sickle cell, we have sickle cell traits, sickle cell disease, sickle cell hemoglobin C, and sickle cell thalassemia, starting with sickle cell traits, which is when the red blood cells contain both HbA and HbS. This is heterozygous form of sickle cell disease. A person with a trait is a carrier and can pass the sickle cell genes uh, to his offspring. Moving to sickle cell disease, in here, the red blood cells contain abnormal hemoglobin which is HbS and this is homozygous form of sickle cell disease. It's the most severe form of sickle cell. Then proceeding to sickle cell hemoglobin C, this is a form of sickle cell when the red blood cells contain both HbS and HbC but no HbA. Then lastly, sickle cell thalassemia. This is when the red blood cells contain predominantly HbS with smaller fractions of of HBA.